Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Melanie Dreyer-Luda, Chair of the Department of Drama here at the University of Alberta. And we're here in front of the Tim's Center for the Arts on the University of Alberta campus. Lots of folks come here to see shows on our stage, but what we do there is only the tip of the iceberg. So I want to take you on a journey and show you how we turn creative ideas into magical reality. Here we are in the Tim's foyer. Follow me and I'll give you the insider's look at how we do what we do. Here we are in the costume shop, which is one of the most beautiful rooms in our building. It's run by three brilliant costumers, Joanna Johnston, Julie Davey, and Karen Kutcher. Faculty and student designers present their designs on renderings like these you see in the wall behind me. The, the costumers then take those renderings and turn them into paper patterns, and those paper patterns are used to cut out the fabric that they then put together into these beautiful costumes that are worn by our actors in our current production of Dracula. Here we are in our costume storage room where we store literally thousands of costumes, shoes, wigs, mustaches, everything a designer could need to design a show. And it's all worth over a million dollars. There's a lot here, so if a designer needs something, we have it all cataloged on a computer library. So hopefully we can find just what they need. Here we are in the prop shop. This is a place full of all sorts of magical gadgets. Our props master, Jane Klein, is a local visual artist here in Edmonton, and she's very clever at turning ordinary props into exceptional things. So a designer will bring her a sketch like this fish right here, which needs to be served in a dinner. But not only that, the fish needs to drop from the ceiling, land on the stage, and be used over and over again. So, Jane worked on this project and constructed this beautiful beanbag fish, which looks just like the drawing, and it's weighted in just such a way so that when it falls on the stage, it sounds like a real fish. This is our scene shop. This is where Daryl Cooksey, our master carpenter, transforms designer drawings into actual scenery. It's a place that requires a lot of safety because we have lots of saws and welding equipment and such. The particular design that he just worked on has a lot of circular shapes and you'll see in just a minute how difficult it was for him to do that. We're gonna walk to the paint shop next and we're gonna walk through a, a heavy steel door that was designed specifically to cut the scene shop off from the rest of the construction area. And that's because it's right next to the stage in case Daryl wants to construct something while well, we have a show going on. So let's go see what the set looks like. Follow me. This is the paint shop. This is the final phase of creating a set for the theater. Daryl's created the set, it comes into the paint shop, and then the paint specialists look at this, a maquette or a model, to determine what the specific paint treatment should be like. The set is already designed and out on the stage for us. Follow me and I'll show you what the final version looks like. So here we are on the Tim's main stage and here's our beautiful set. With the cutouts created by Daryl, the paint job created by our paint techs. And we have a really cool feature I wanted to point out to you and that's these bones here. These bones are actually a really important safety feature in addition to being a fun aesthetic part of the design. They're made of a metal tube with balls on the top and on the bottom and fabric stretched over it and then our paint techs made the bones look just like bones. 
So tonight's opening night, and I can hardly wait to go. We have one more spot on our tour, so follow me. Here we are in the Tim's Lobby, the final destination of our tour. It may look familiar to some of you if you've ever come to see a production here at the Tim's Center for the Arts. I've taken you on a journey through a collection of very important laboratory learning spaces. These spaces are critical for our training program that teaches students how to be professional artists and scholars and to move into the world of theater when they graduate. If you're interested in finding out more about the Department of Drama or you want to come and see a production at the Tim Center for the Performing Arts, just visit our website. Thank you so much for coming. Hope to see you at the theater.